There are ways to do it. You're not helpless. Stop pretending that you're a victim. What's going on you guys? Quick video here today. I just want to share an experience that I had with you this morning. Went to the pharmacy to pick up a prescription and of course their phone wasn't working beforehand so I couldn't call it in to have it ready to pick up and of course when I got there even though it's Monday morning there was a huge line of people and I waited 20 minutes and when I got to the counter the lady informed me I'd have to wait another half hour before I could get my prescription and go home. Now, I'm on a timeline, okay? My baby is with the babysitter. I have a limited amount of time to get home and do work before I have to go back and pick her up and go back into dad mode, but half hour is not enough time to go home and get anything done. So I literally had to sit in the grocery store parking lot for a half hour after already waiting for about a half hour. It took an hour. Now, normally a person would get pretty frustrated about something like that, and understandably so. Normally I would get frustrated about something like that. But instead of getting angry, instead of being bitter and salty, and just letting that feeling of anger sink into my stomach and start to ruin my morning already, I told myself, no, I'm gonna be positive about this. I am going to make something out of this time. So I went out to my car, rolled down the windows because it's beautiful out, plugged in my phone, listened to a podcast. I bought some sushi at the grocery store. I sat out there, ate sushi, listened to a podcast, and I did work on my phone. Now this is all reframing, okay? The situation didn't change. I was still wasting time. I still had to wait. I still couldn't go anywhere. And it was still aggravating. But I reframed the situation and I did what I could with the time. An important part of using tools like this is to make sure that you have things you can do when you're just standing around waiting. One of the best things I did was I sat down with my smartphone one night and I installed every single app for every single feature that I use to run my business. I installed my PNC banking. I installed my Etsy shop owner app. I installed uh, my investment app so I can check my portfolio. I installed Stripe so I can check my Stripe account, make sure my billing is on time. I installed my Facebook page manager app so I can manage my Facebook page and do posts and respond to messages. I installed my YouTube creator app so I can work on my channel, respond to comments, post videos. I have all these things in the palm of my hand, and yes, I would rather do them on my computer, but in moments like this when I'm stuck, it's perfect. It gives me something to do to make sure that I'm not just wasting time standing there getting angry. I can distract myself with something that's at least remotely productive, and I can listen to a podcast and learn while I do it. So instead of getting angry at other people for things that really aren't their fault, and instead of getting angry about things that you can't control, just deflect it. Say, no thanks, I'm not gonna get angry. I'm gonna do this instead and it's gonna be productive and at least I will have gotten something done with my time. Because let's face it, life is way too short to get angry. Every single day is too short to get angry about stupid things. Stay positive, stay happy, stay on top of your stuff. Keep things in your back pocket to do for moments like that because life will always be unexpected. Not a single day will ever go the way you plan it and you just gotta be ready for those things. So make the best of every moment that you have and stay happy. And when I got up to that counter an hour later to get my prescription, I was super polite we talked about the weather, I wished her a good day, and I left the store with a smile on my face. So I guess the point that I'm trying to make today is to just stay positive. Don't get angry about dumb things. And if you need to be productive to feel good about yourself, find things that you can do that are productive even when you're stuck standing in a line. There are ways to do it. You're not helpless. Stop pretending that you're a victim and just be nice to people. Your life will be better for it, right? Go get it, people.